Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft's xCloud Cloud Game Streaming Service on your Steam Deck. Need to have Game Pass Ultimate subscription in order to play the games using xCloud. Now I am from India, as of now this service is not available here. So I'll be using the free version of Proton VPN in order to access the stream. Once I have access to xCloud server, I'll disconnect from the VPN in order to reduce latency. Now I have already shown you how to set up the free version of Proton VPN on your Steam Deck. Link to the video will be given in the description of this video. I will be using Greenlight application in order to run xCloud on my Steam Deck. You can download it for free. This is the GitHub page of this application. I will be using App Image Launcher in order to install Greenlight. So first let us just download the latest version of Greenlight. You need to download this file that has dot app image extension. This is for Steam OS. Now guys, before updating to Steam OS version 3.4.2, I was using Microsoft's Edge browser in order to run xCloud. But after updating to the latest OS, I was not able to get xCloud working using Edge browser. The VPN trick does not work for me. Edge browser is able to detect my real location and it throws up an error, unsupported region. That's why I just switched to green light. It has been downloaded. Now I'll download the latest version of App Image Launcher. Just download this file x8664. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Go to Downloads. We have downloaded these two files just now. So just select App Image Launcher file. Right click on it. Select properties, click on permissions tab and check this setting is executable. Click on OK. Just click on app launcher, go to system, go to console, open it. Now we just need to drag the app image launcher file onto the console. Minimize this window drag and drop it here there you go now just type install hit enter for me it's asking me to uninstall app image launcher as it is already installed on my steam deck for you it will be installed on your steam deck you can close this console expand this window just click on split now go to home directory look for a new folder named applications there it is all we need to do is open this folder and transfer the green light file to it you can just drag and drop it here select move here that's it just wait for a few seconds then click on the app launcher go to all applications scroll down and under the G section look for green light there it is our app has been installed now open steam in desktop mode go to library in order to run green light in steam gaming mode we need to add it to our steam library so just go to the library section click on add a game click on add a non steam game look for green light there it is check the box corresponding to it click on add selected programs there's green light selected then click on the settings cog here select properties under launch options we need to add a line space dash dash full screen this will make the application run in full screen mode now we can rename it as well I'll just name it as green light that's it close it you can use the boiler application in order to add artwork let me just quickly do this you can download boiler from discover store i have already uploaded boiler setup video so all we need to do is click here import your games into steam searching for images downloading 10 images that's it we can close it now so now i'll be running green light from the steam desktop port will be logging into my xbox account before doing that let me just connect to proton vpn japan based server 
fx cloud is available in your country you don't need to use vpn you will be required to provide your xbox credentials authenticating my profile is already saved i'll just click on login there you go worked using this application we can locally stream games from our xbox console to our steam deck i don't have an xbox console so i'll just use xcloud in order to access its library just click here loading the library now we can see all of the available games you can access the settings of green light by clicking here settings tab bitrate set to unlimited so let's close this and disconnect from the vpn start steam gaming mode okay so now we need to set up the controller configuration for green light just click on the controller icon here current layout i am using gamepad with mouse trackpad just select it from here there it is need to map a couple of keys just click on edit layout click on trackpads for the right trackpad behavior select as mouse and map right trackpad click to left mouse button now we will be able to select any option by pressing the right trackpad for the left trackpad behavior select single button and map the left trackpad click to n key of the keyboard it basically opens the xbox menu in green light that's it with our controller configuration before starting the application need to connect to vpn press the menu button here i am using tunnel deck plugin to access vpn from steam's gaming mode i have already uploaded its setup video link to the video will be given in the description of this video i'll connect to japan vpn you can see wifi symbol changed to a globe we are connected to vpn we have logged in so when you see x cloud library you can disconnect from the vpn disconnect we can use the right trackpad to move the pointer select any option by pressing the right trackpad just like this loading the library there you go i'll be running assassin's creed odyssey start stream in order to close the stream you can just click on debug here disconnect disconnect from here in order to access the xbox menu you can just press the left trackpad just like this close it by pressing the left trackpad again I'll just enable the performance overlay with Steam OS version 3.4. Horizontal overlay has been added. Just select level 2. There's the horizontal overlay. Looks neat. A new setting has been added. A lot tearing. It helps in reducing latency. Just enable it and set the frame rate limit to off. this disables the vsync it is possible that now you may observe some screen tearing let's start the game there's my character check out the input response using the japan based server playing the game from india stream looks sharp move show near back quest quest has been marked
controls are very responsive good thing is that I don't need to download anything game is pre-installed on Microsoft server you can see the total power drop it's around 8.3 watts running the game native I beg your pardon running the game natively can consume around 25 watts almost there Alright, back to the game. So the game ran very nicely, definitely playable using this service. In order to exit the stream, just press the left trackpad. Xbox menu opened up. Select quit game. I'll end the video here guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.